Toyota Yaris. Brand new one. It's got the cross on the front end. Do you know what? It looks a lot better in a different colour than black. In a bright colour. In a red or an orange or a blue or something like that. In black. It just doesn't stand out. And it needs it because it is a bit of a Euro box design. Despite being of a Japanese origin. So it needs a bright colour. So top tip, if you're going to buy one, don't get it in black or grey or white. Get it in a nice primary colour because it looks great in those colours. Let's have a quick run through of the stats. This is a 1.33 petrol, uh, naturally aspirated, so it doesn't have a turbo engine. It's got 98 horsepower and just under 100 foot-pound of torque. It's got a six-speed manual gearbox. And the engine and the gearbox are really great. The gearbox is sweet as a nut. The engine's sweet as a nut. It revs through to uh, just over 5,000, 6,000 revs. And oh, I like it a lot. It weighs about 1,000 kilos. does not 60 in 10.7 seconds. And uh, it's a really fun little car. The chassis is great. It's really good. You wouldn't think it, would you? I mean, look at it. It doesn't exactly look stunning. It looks uh, it's quite normal. Apart from the front end, fairly Toyota, wouldn't you say? But anyway, it's a great car to drive. The official fuel consumption, I've got to look it up, is uh, 57.6 miles per gallon. You might approach that on a long journey if you're going to do 60 mile an hour, but uh, in the real world you get 40, 40, between 40 and 45 miles per gallon, which is not bad for a little 1.3. Steering's good. Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, round, uh, round B roads. Feels like it could be a rally car if it didn't have the back seats and all of the interior and all of that kind of thing. So let's have a quick look round. What I'm going to do is turn the engine on and we'll fire up the um, Toyota Touch and Go. It's a £650 option. See how long it takes to find my phone and play some music. It does take a while, so we'll find out how long it's going to take. So this is the interior. Again, with the black, you get a very dull interior. I mean, it's quite funky design, but uh, choose a different color and you get color coordinated interior. Gray on black. It doesn't look the best in the world. Seats. Comfy, supportive. They're made out of uh, the kind of material that you'd expect British Rail to uh, put their train seats in. I don't really like the material, but there you go. Otherwise, they're really nice. They're adjustable manually. Sorry, that's a chewing gum wrapper. There we go, it's playing. It took that long. You can guess what's playing. So let's turn you down. This doesn't, uh, this does have sat nav, and it's quite a good one. It gets a little bit frustrating sometimes. You have to delete previous entries when you enter a new one, but otherwise it's okay. It's got all your controls, a la VW Polo, very similar, you know, um, you turn your heating, your heating and air conditioning up and down, fan speed, where you want it to come, that's it, it's basic. You've got a little trip computer on the dash, that looks, dash looks okay, could have been a bit funky, more funky, black on, red on black, with kind of like grey surround, it's a bit dull, at night it lights up and it looks a little bit better. You've got a trip computer here miles, miles per gallon, 38, 37.8 because I've been driving it locally, range 59 miles to go. There's your gearbox. It's got a real handbrake, see? More rally credentials. Quick look in the back. Not bad, not bad. Let's sit in it. See, I'm five foot ten. My driver's seat's really quite far back. It's not bad. The headrests, they're too low. You've got to put them, every, put, put them up every time you, uh, you put an adult in the back or it sits in the middle of your back. Boot. Spacious. Quite deep. Not bad. Again, not class leading, but it's okay. The seats don't fold flat. Look at that. That's annoying, but I did get quite a lot of stuff in the back of this car the other day when I went to the tip. So, Cost £14,000. This one's £14,600 because it's got that touch and go, 
with your sat nav and your uh, infotainment, it doesn't have uh, digital radio by the way, don't order it in black, otherwise it's a really nice car.